Hello adventurers and welcome back to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma and I'm a homeschooling or home educating mum of three in the UK. And today's video is in partnership with Twinkle. I'm really, really excited to show you all of their Halloween crafts that we've managed to pick. There were so many to choose from. I spent about two hours on the website trying to decide. I saved like 40 things into my saved resources folder and I just couldn't decide. There was just so much choice but you know you don't want to have the opposite of that do you? So I managed to pick 10 activities I really really liked and then I ended up actually doing seven of them just because the other the, the guys didn't really fancy doing the one the ones some of the ones that I thought cool were cool the guys didn't fancy doing them and we didn't have any paint which is annoying but here are seven activities that we really really enjoyed doing on a bit of a boring Sunday afternoon uh weather's a bit overcast and we thought hmm Let's do some really fun Halloween activities uh, in preparation for our biggest Sabbath of the year, Samhain. Enjoy! Isn't it black? Ah yes, thank you. Don't get the bell. I have oh, I'm not doing What's your costume gonna be, Bessie, or is it a surprise? Mom is a jelly king. A jelly king? Jelly king. Ooh. What are you gonna what would you like I to dress up for for Samhain, Albert? Oh I was using black. Yeah. Albert, what do you want to dress up as? You want to dress up as a ghost? Nope. Somebody. <laughs> Somebody. Gently with the pens. Gently with the pens. Who do you want to dress up as, Charles? Okay, if you push too um, much, you'll bend, you'll bend it. Martin from Wildcrats. Martin from Wildcrats. And I think Bessie's is still a surprise. Stop, 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 stop. She's working very, very stop, busily stop. right now. I don't want to spoil it, but I mean no. Oh, don't tell us. It's yeah. Bessie's surprise. I won't tell. So who is you? What have you done for your Halloween costume? Ladybug superhero! Ladybug superhero. Yeah. Is she a unicorn as well? Yeah. So unicorn ladybug? I'm up to space. Oh my gosh. Well, Charles is still busy on his. Albert. You've cut yours up. What did you do? What's your Halloween costume? I'm going, it's a zombie. A I'm, zombie? I'm going to hide my zombie. You're going to hide your zombie? Oh, so Would you like to dress up as a zombie for Samhain? Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. Mommy, I think he's trying to do, like, making it look like he's be, he's, it's a human who's being killed. Oh. To make it actually look like, oh, kind of ruined the mouth. That's okay. So, um, okay, I'm almost done. From... It's Martin from Wild Quest. Oh yeah, I can see he's wearing his creature power suit. Yeah. Very cool. He's got his skin, but he hasn't touched. Gonna the go animal. wild, wild crats. Gonna go wild, he hasn't wild, touched wild the crats. Yet. Oh okay. So that's why he's not transformed. Cool. What are you doing now? What's your next Halloween activity? Your Samhain activity? Scary Halloween suit. There's only one in. Remember, remember, it's a, new, where a John, slimy puke. Where that, it says to name the Daddy's a monster. Okay, so what are you going to do instead? Draw them. That's the cool thing about being home educated is that you don't have to do writing all the time, do you? Yeah. What kind of things are you going to put in your stew? Uh, I have absolutely no idea. Okay, should we leave you to it and you can have a thing? Yeah. What have you put in your stew so far, Betty? A heart. A heart? What kind of heart? Um, a heart from... Uh... What? A heart of a fox. Oh my gosh. Oh, Charles, um, you put lots of things in yours. 
Yes, um, I've got some mud, a pumpkin top, a snake. And when Bessie said hi, I thought that would be a, a, I thought that would be a really good thing to put in a witch's skin. Cool. Um, Mama, but now I'm making some scissors. Box. I have no idea why, but I just thought like some scissors. pizzas from a crop, crop, and a crab. Yeah, and a nose of a fox. Wow. Bessie Stew, but these shoes aren't vegan, are they? No. <laughs> right, are you going to do, Albert's Al Al about to do his pumpkin. What are you going to do on your pumpkin, Albert? We're going to take part in the pumpkin trail in our area this year and put pumpkins Sweeping in our window. Pumpkin claws. I'm going to show it. Oh, it's my, it's a blue pen, look. <laughs> Go on then, you do your, you do your pumpkin. It's a dark. I put some scorpion claws. Oh, let's see. Actually, Remember to be gentle with the pens, please. Daddy has just gone to the shop to buy some ingredients to make monster iced biscuits. Yes, I you. That's you. Mommy, this might be I a bit sad for you, but I've got a unicorn okay, please be gentle with mind. them because if they break, I'll be. F I will feel very sad. Oh, that is perfect. Careful. What inside pumpkin? Pumpkin seeds and a pumpkin half flesh. Eaten sandwich. A half-eaten sandwich. Okay, I'm now going to do a half-eaten I'm going to cut this out. Okay. Like that. Okay. Albert's practicing his fine motor skills by using our nice child-friendly scissors. Yeah. What have you put in there now? Is that a fox again? Yeah. Oh my goodness, that poor fox. You put him in a stew. <laughs> and his nose. Is bleak. that's all the black. Oh my goodness. Oh. So how are you gonna carve yours, Bessie? Can you show me? Are you done? Are you done? I'm done, I'm done but it's in. Yes. Yeah. Don't look yet. Okay. Do you see it? Okay, nobody look. I'm Ready? Yep. Yeah. <gasps> Ta da! Boom. Oh, it's so scary. It jumped out at us. And it's bleeding. Oh my goodness. That's a really scary pumpkin. Ah! So, you're going to do your pumpkin now? Yep. Uh, have you got any ideas? Do you know what it's going to be? Well, first, I'm going to uh, make the outlines of the face and stuff. Yeah. And then, I will colour it orange. Cool. Can't wait to see it. Hello. Hello. What's all down film, Buzzy and Jill? Let me see. Let me see. I'm going to pitch on you. Just for what? Get your coffee ready. It's funny because Daddy gets ready coffins, doesn't he? <laughs> it's Mummy's turn today. Yeah. Why are you not petrified? Oh, I've got to do these bits down here, look. Daddy.
and kitty cat. Put your I'm not making a wet. Oh, this is. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! <laughs> good thing we know that. Oh, it's a good thing we know that witches aren't scary, really, don't we? Yeah. What are you doing? Testing. Huh? <laughs> What's that? Laser beam, like, sorry, Albert. Mm -hmm. Oh dear. He's stuck. Okay, okay. if I'm way down. Pickle. Mm -hmm. I'm so done with my pumpkin. Oh my goodness, that's amazingly scary. Hey, yeah, I'm gonna do he glued it to the table. Yeah. Oh dear, Albert's glued his pumpkin to the table. <laughs> really, Bert? Can I tell you it's silly? Oh, so it's silly? I will put it on here. Yeah, how are you meant to get it off if Mama, it dries? It's fine, it'll, it'll come. It's fine, it'll come. No, are you supposed to stick that bit on? Look. Like that, Mama? Is that how you meant to do it? Meow. <laughs> What's your cat called? Jake. Jake. Jake the cat, that's a nice name. So now it's Bessie's turn. Oh, Bessie's chosen to go along that side rather than the sticky bit. I'm gonna try and draw a cat. What are you face. doing, Bill? Why are you doing it that side? Yeah, I'm gonna draw a cat. Remember, face. this bit's folded over, and then you fold that side over to that side, yeah? I'm going to wind up. <laughs> Never mind. Can you try it now? Can you try I'm it? Extra oh, that's a good idea. Mm. Never mind. Uh oh, get them in there. It's fine. <laughs> Wait, where's all this? You've got no arm. Yuck! Would you like some help or are you okay? Okay. You're okay. Uh, how do I pick it up? That is Albert playing Tag of Wires. Again. It's oh. a game. If you fold it over, then you can fluff it out in a minute. Do you want some help? You look a bit worried. I'm going to wind up for this rock bus. Show me. Mm. It's a witch's hat. It's a a witch's hat on a baby witch. <laughs> Yay. A boo. Oh, why? I'm missing a pen. Kind of Maybe it's on the floor. And there's one thing I hate about this, about mind, mindfulness. <laughs> I find mindfulness colouring really, really relaxing. Um, it's one of the things that I do to unwind, that I do to relax, that I do when I'm feeling anxious, just when I do when I'm bored, just the list goes on. Like I really find um, that it's just really... It's a real good self-care technique for me. And I know I've talked to you guys about self-care before. Um, and even something like this that I can sit down and do with the kids while they're doing it as well. I find as autistic people who often feel anxious about what other people would deem as everyday situations, that mindfulness colouring is really centering for them, really grounding and even just normal colouring. It doesn't have to be tiny little colouring like this. It can be just regular colouring. You know, we can sit down, we can do it together. Not only are we present in the moment because of the mindfulness colouring, but we're also present in the moment with each other and we can have a really good chat, um, maybe talk about what we're doing or which usually leads to us talking about something else. Like once the mind quietens, things that you really need to talk about with those you love usually pop up. And I find it's a really good time, a really good bonding time for us um, as a family because all of us can do it. We can all sit down and do it together. Um, and I am pretty sure I'm going to finish that spider this evening once they've gone to bed to help me relax a little bit more. Do you like mindfulness colouring as parents? Is that something that you've tried as adults? Um, I did a course um, at the beginning of lockdown, lockdown, lockdown with my amazing friend Adiola. And she was all about like encouraging us to be creative in loads and loads of different ways and it doesn't have to be something that you deem as adults like you can just do things like coloring like this um it doesn't if it's meant for children even if it's like paint by numbers or something like that as long as you're having fun and enjoying it and it feels healing to you then it's enough
and to be Harry Potter. Nice. So I've made my hat now. Oh, uh, it's meant to be a Harry Potter hat. I didn't want to colour in the outside, but I made the Harry Potter symbol. And instead of doing actual words, I just did scribbles. But there you go. You may not be able to see it very clearly because it's on camera, but there. So you've seen a few of the activities. I hope you're enjoying them. We've having a lot of fun so far. Now, the biggest thing about this partnership with Twinkle, and I'm so excited to announce, in celebration of Samhain, or Halloween, as well as me hitting 500 subscribers, yay! We are doing a giveaway. Twinkle has given us a three month subscription to give away to one of my lucky subscribers. All you need to do is go into the link down below and upload a photograph that shows you are a subscriber of this channel. Once you've done that, you will we will put them into a ram, random number generator and i will announce the winner next week all of the terms and conditions and the opening dates and the closing dates are on the entry form if you go over to instagram and show me that you're and send upload another picture showing me that you are um following me on instagram that is counts as another entry so you have two chances to to win and I'm really excited. I would love to enter a competition that meant I got a three month Twinkle subscription. So I hope you are excited about it as I am. Um, it's an international education platform. It does not matter where you are in the world. If you are English speaking, um, there are so many different languages in there. They've got Australian content. They've got content that would suit Americans, Canadians. Um, they've got Resources are in Arabic, in Polish, in French, German, Spanish. There is so, so much. I cannot say enough good things about Twinkle. And not only are the resources top notch, you can also get, you also get amazing customer service. The home education team are absolutely fabulous. They're always at the end of a post on um, their home educators group on Facebook. If you have a question or you have a request, they reply really, really quickly all week. Um, I swear they must never sleep. <laughs> and the customer service on the actual website is also really, really helpful. They're just absolutely fabulous. Not only that, every year they run home educators discounts to give us a break and to give us access a little bit cheaper to some really, really great resources. Now, these resources are also used by schools. So if anyone goes, well, uh, how do you teach the curriculum? You can go, with the help of Twinkle. Or just tell them to be quiet. I'm going to get back to the activities now because I want to make some ice biscuits. See you in a bit. We are going to ice biscuits. I'm going to do a cat and a pumpkin. Halloween biscuits. We've got some icing, different colours. Because Sweetie's not right now. I need some black. I'm just gonna do this. This is gonna be my cat. It's a black cat, like you know, like the witchy kind of cats. Like witchy cats. Yeah, I'm just black. decorating one of them and then de decorating the other one. Remember, don't use it all, Bats, because you've got another biscuit. Now oh, I'm doing the it together. Oh, Get up. Okay. Let's hide, let it now. Yes, we must. My face. And some well, really mm. long one of these. Right. Win. Mm. Win. A win to make on mine. Really? Love I'll take some ring. And a heart. For eyes. Heart. And a heart. Do you know what the dot is? The dot is for the no I'll scram. I'm gonna need to take off these bits. Ah! Ah! Hey look guys. Whoa. Honey. Now look what I'm doing. I'm taking off the ring bit. Mommy, I'm doing this. This is not going I'm well. I'm doing this because mine, Charles. I'm going, I'm taking some of the going a lot better than, than mine. Yes, because I 
I'm doing real, really cat. I have no idea how, to, how I'm going to do the eyes. Hmm? Hot? Look. Look at mine, Charles. Hot? Mine are hot. Yeah. Mmm. They're sound tasty. Look at mine, Charles. I just did them hot. I'll do I'm going to get a Coca-Cola bottle and make it look like she's drinking Coca-Cola. So I'm going to make him... Ma look at mine! Coke. She's drinking yeah. Coca-Cola. <laughs> I love that. And, uh, yeah. You guys are so creative. Mm -hmm. I'm going to need some white. How do I get the white? I got the heart no, for you. Oh, thank you. I'm like your mum <laughs> is making <laughs> My cat can go so well, but where did the? Oh, you've got the white icing. I was like, where's the white icing gone? Yes, mm -hmm. just had to. Yes, here. Oh. The next two textbooks in Charles's palmer. No. Which kind of Show me, Bessie. Show me again. Okay. Show me, please. Can you show all our friends? Okay. Oh my gosh. And what's the other one? A heart faced. Oh, it looks a bit scary. Looks like death. This is one of them. I haven't finished the other one, but it's a cat. Meow. These are mine. I have to use a lot of laces. Oh, it's all. I'm using all of Lello. Two monster faces Mommy, and a spider. You got three. Okay, so I've got my cat and my skeleton. I'm, I'm assuming you can tell which one's which. <laughs> Good job. Now they can be buddies. But they're still buddies. <laughs> Thank you for watching our Halloween craft video. Um, we have had an amazing experience doing all of these things and I want to say a huge thank you, thank you to the home education team at Twinkle for giving us this opportunity and for this amazing giveaway. Make sure you enter and I will see you on Thursday. Bye. Tick tock, the clock is ticking. I don't know what I should do and I wish you would be right here with me. My mind is filled with pictures of when we used to dance, but now I don't know where you are. I miss you so bad, won't you come back to me? I've got you in my head, you're all that I see. I've lost all my chances, I know that I am too late. I'm thinking of you, I'm thinking of you. I'm thinking of you Wondering if you're thinking about me too Now it's too late Now it's too late I'm out of time But I'm still thinking of you My heart keeps on bleeding I have scars, the ones that healing They're all there because of you I messed it up and I should have treated you much better So much better I miss you so bad, won't you come back to me? I've got you in my head, you're all that I see I've lost all my chances, I know that I am too late I'm thinking of you I'm thinking of you I'm thinking of you Wondering if you're thinking about me too Now it's too late I know it's too late I'm out of time But I'm still thinking of you
Now it's too late. Now it's too late.